let me start by saying how much I love the movie and congratulations. Thank you. Um, this was your first big leading role in a big superhero movie. Well, first leading role in any uh, feature length. I mean, th that was in movie theaters. You know what I mean? Sure. Like I, I, I played the leading role in some movies that weren't in movie theaters. And I've been in movies that have been in movie theaters and I wasn't the title character by a long shot. So this is huge, yeah. And that it's a superhero movie is even bigger than that. I'm just curious. Being, everyone has told me who's an actor, it's like they say making a movie like this is like making a marathon, like you have to run a marathon. And I'm just curious, did you look to, did you talk to any friends who are actors, like ask for advice in terms of like how to sort of maintain yourself for the entirety of a big shoot? No, I probably should have done that. <laughs> I probably should have. Oh, wisdom. Uh, no, I mean, I definitely. I've known, well, like when I did Thor, I was, I saw Chris do it. I didn't need to, I, you know, when I got this, I already knew, I saw what Chris's line was and how the dedication and the being in the gym and, and the calories he was eating and all of the things that he needed to do to bring that character to life. So, um, you know, moments, friends like that, that I, I've seen over the years pop and grab these roles and flourish in them. And uh, so I think I had a somewhat of an idea, but nobody can really fully prepare you because also all the roles are slightly different as well and they demand very different things from you. Fortunately, I mean genuinely, like I, I, I'm, I can't believe I'm so lucky that I get to play the kid in the superhero and therefore not have to restrain my enthusiasm at all. In fact, just allow it all to be because you know, a lot, Chris, I'm sure, was beyond stoked when he was Thor, but Thor's got to be sure. real serious, you know? So does Cap, so does Batman, Super. I mean, most of them have to be very serious. These are real stakes, there's real responsibilities. Billy doesn't feel that responsibility. He just feels the optimism, and uh, so that's a different track. I, I couldn't ask anybody on the creative side, other than maybe Tom Hanks, what was it like doing big, you know, I, I didn't have anybody to draw from on that side. And on the physical side of things, it's pretty much just like, you know, you go sit down with any trainer and be like, hey, I want to go and become this. And they go, great, well, when do you want to start? Because you're going to be in the gym six days a week and you're going to eat, and do, tw do two a days, and you're going to eat tons and tons of calories and supplements. And But great, awesome. I, I feel better than I've ever felt in my life, and now I get to open a huge superhero movie. It, it's amazing. I, uh, I'm very curious. The, the superhero genre, the comic book movie, if you will, is the most popular genre on the planet right now. What do you think it is about the superhero movie uh, that is resonates with so many people? Well, I think we're finally in, you know, uh, just a time of, like, technology where we are able to make superhero movies properly. Uh, far more properly than I think we were able to do in the past because special effects are just so good. So I think... Uh, a lot of people are now able to appreciate the story more than, uh, let's say, 20 years ago when uh, they're looking at it going, oh, they, kind of, they might look cheesy or they might look this or they might look that. So on, just on a technical level, we're able to make them in a very great way, I think. As far as the stories that are within all of these IPs, I mean, I think pop culture has finally caught up on what a lot of us you know, kids who read comics have always known, which is that these are really awesome stories. These are yeah. the classic hero archetypes. And uh, and also, you know, comics have always been subversive and they go into areas and talk about things that sometimes, you know, um, uh, your uh, other other media or content don't go in and tap into because you have a, there's a liberty in that because you're you know ink on paper and it's it's it, there's art involved in it and so you know I, I know a lot of people within the the world uh, have gotten a little let's say I don't want to say possessive but you know it's almost like all of a sudden you know uh, Henry Cavill is Superman. And a bunch of girls who think he's gorgeous are now suddenly into Superman. And then there's diehard Superman fans that are like, who are these Johnny-come-latelys that are all of a sudden liking Superman? It's like, 
that's not a bad thing. Exactly. That's a great thing. It's great that people now see the thing that we always saw, that we always loved. We saw Clark Kent and Bruce Wayne and, and, and Peter Parker and Billy Batson. We saw all of them and we saw ourselves in all of them. And that's not changed. Those stories all ha have been there. We're just now finally able to make them, like put them on screen in really cool ways. And so people that aren't comic book lovers from the get go are still just gonna appreciate it regardless because it's a good movie. Gotta go. Yeah. Congratulations, seriously, you did such an awesome job. Thank you, brother.